What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon news update video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Nintendo Switch Online leak that shows us a ton of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service. Now, of course, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is for the obvious reason, is because there are a ton of Pokemon Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games that could potentially make its way over via this service into the Nintendo Switch. So I figure it was worth doing a video and starting a discussion here on the channel. This is coming from Central Leaks. Obviously, they have a wishy-washy track record but again they are getting their info and sources from other people online i'm just going to them because they're going to be focusing on a lot of pokemon stuff and that's exactly what i want i just want the pokemon news of this leak The tweet reads, Nintendo's upcoming Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator for Nintendo Switch Online has been leaked earlier today. It's still in development, but pretty much confirms those will be the next console to be added to the service. It says Pokemon Pinball is amongst those games listed. You can see a picture of Pokemon Pinball right here. Now, granted, obviously, that that's going to be the next games or the next systems coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service. It was data mined a while ago that game boy was going to make its way and we thought that was going to come before nintendo 64 did so the fact that we still haven't gotten game boy yet is kind of surprising but understandable they wanted to go with a heavy hitter nintendo 64 being that heavy hitter to bring to the nintendo switch especially with the game library the nintendo 64 has with ocarina time majora's mask all the mario games so it kind of makes sense that they leaned on that versus leaning on the game boy in the game boy advance catalog of games granted there are gems here so on these initial images we see pokemon pinball we can see a whole bunch of random stuff like you know the the boot up screen we see pokemon trade down here which is very interesting and we're going to get into into in a second we see golden sun right here i know slow speed run is going to be happy to see this on the nintendo switch we see mario bros obviously so we do got a couple of cool titles listed here Digging into the tweets, it says, also, there's a Pokemon trade demo ROM included. So it looks like they're actually testing trading for the main series Pokemon games. That means Gen 1, 2, 3 could be re-released soon on Switch via Nintendo Switch Online. Obviously, he's definitely covering his bases by saying could be re-released soon. Uh, do I think it's going to be released soon? Hopefully, I want them to. Do I think we're going to get Gen 1 through 3? I think that it's going to be how Nintendo Switch Online is currently with, you know, they're going to have like 10 or 20 games at, uh, you know, at launch. And then down the line, we're going to get steady updates of games dropping, you know, one by one or month by month, depending on how Nintendo wants to release these games. It will make a big splash if they say, hey, we got Game Boy and yes, we got Pokemon. That would make a huge splash. The fact that they are including a Pokemon trade feature. Now, got a lot of people thinking like, hey, maybe we're going to get Gen 1, 2, and 3, and we're going to be able to move those Pokemon over to Pokemon Home. That sounds perfect in a perfect world. Do I think we're going to get that? Maybe not. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl still don't have Pokemon Home integrated yet. Pokemon Legends Arceus still don't have Pokemon Home integrated yet. I think if they added this, this will be another task for whoever at the Pokemon Company or Ico, whoever is in charge of that. It, it, it's taking a sweet time, I can tell you that, trying to figure it out. I, I think this is just adding to it. <laughs> if we, I don't think this is going to have home feature. But this Pokemon trade thing does exist. I do believe that if they were to release Pokemon Gen 1, 2, or 3 on the Nintendo Switch Online service, that for the very least, for the, you know, the bare minimum, we will be able to trade back and forth between you know accounts so i could trade to you you could trade to me basically if we're standing in the same room or maybe even online and that'd be pretty cool we could trade via the game the you know the trading corner or the link corner or whatever the case may be i think that's what that means i don't think this is gonna work with the pokemon home i'm hopeful hopefully it does but i don't i don't see that happening not not at launch I don't, like that that would mean that 
this started, this will get announced and then get, you know, Pokemon home support before Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I, it's kind of hard to believe that we still don't have Pokemon home support and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And those games came out technically last year. It says update. It seems that Nintendo has tested Pokemon Pinball, Ruby Sapphire, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fans. I know you celebrate right now and Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and Brew in the emulator again this is tested that doesn't mean that it's a hundred percent going to be in the nintendo switch online when it drops and to be honest i don't think they would drop it with three pokemon games granted they're three different you know type of pokemon games they're pokemon pinball and then pokemon mystery dungeon and then pokemon ruby pokemon sapphire pokemon emerald that's technically four games four pokemon games do i think they will drop it with all four Probably not, especially with how big of a splash that would be if they go, hey, this month we're dropping Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. They don't have to do that at launch. They could just promise it and then do that later on down the road. You know, you're still launching with a Pokemon. It's Pokemon Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> you still launching with full Pokemon Adventure. It's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So I, I to me, it's kind of hmm, I'm, I'm excited for this, especially if we are getting Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald, the GBA versions. I would love to replay those. Am I holding my breath for it? <laughs> probably not because again they're just testing this this is all in a testing phase granted because it's just an emulator thrown on the nintendo switch with minor tweaks and upgrades to the roms all the games that they're probably testing is going to be games they probably know for sure that they could put on and actually have inside of the nintendo switch online service it says the library of gba games that have been tested for this is massive tested keywords doesn't mean they will actually launch on the service the yellow rom folder at some point but not in the leak bill there one other game with evidence of being tested though and they have a whole list of games they got astro boy castlevania pier both of them or a whole bunch of them actually f0 f0 max Maximum Velocity, you got Fire Emblem, you got Drill Dozer, you got Golden Sun, like two of them. You got Golden Sun and Golden Sun, The Lost Age. You got the Kingdom Hearts games. Come on. Like, if they're launching with the Kingdom Hearts games, bro, Kirby in the Amazing Mirror, I could see that being up there. Mario Party Advance, probably the worst Mario Party game. Mega Man's up here. You got Battle Network and Mega Man Zero Three. Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero Mission, two heavy hitters that I don't think. I think they launch with one and then drop another one later on down the line. Again, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team. Wait, what, there was Red Rescue Team and there was like another one, right? There was like the Blue Rescue Team. Then you got Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, Sapphire. Then you got Super Mario Advance 4, which is basically Super Mario Brothers 3. You got Warrior Land 4, Warrior Land Inc., Yoshi's Island, The Legends of Zelda, Minish Cap. So again, you got a ton of dope games here and I, I can't wait. I cannot wait, bro. I cannot wait. So let me know what you think about this Nintendo Switch Online Game Boy and Game Boy Advance leak in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. Are you excited? on the possibility of getting Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emblem, Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on the Nintendo Switch. I know I am. I will be hyped. I'm gonna be, you know, crying probably again, just like I did with Pokemon Snap. But again, I'm gonna be super hyped for these dropping on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know will, your thoughts about this. Do you wanna replay these old games? Let me know on the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day token pokemon call of duty fortnite wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you i'm gonna see you guys on the next one